Hi, it is March 8, 2019. Children, the use of children, the exploitation of children, using children, adults using children to further adult ends. I do not like it. It is despicable. And where are their parents? Um, I don't know if you saw this video that I posted. Did you see evil incarnate Feinstein confronted by common core children who have been indoctrinated to believe that climate change is real, global warming is happening, and here they are. We only have 12 years, Diane. You have to get on board with the Green New Deal. These kids are being used. This teacher is so utterly despicable. I just, these kids, look how young they are. And they're being used. The United Nations has children speaking as experts, experts on climate. Um, why do they use children? To pull at the heartstrings. Well, now, now, adults won't take climate change seriously, so we, the youth, are forced to strike. Yes, the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientist has this posted. Climate uh, strike, a global climate strike, March 15. You think the kids organized this? No. Do you think the kids wrote this? No. Adults did. And I'm going to read some of it. We, the youth of America, are fed up with decades of inaction on climate change. On Friday, March 15, young people like us across the United States will strike from school. We strike to bring attention to the millions of our generation who will most suffer the consequences of increased global temperatures, rising seas, and extreme weather. Global temperatures ceased over 20 years ago. Rising seas, not happening. Extreme weather, do the research, children. Do the research on weather modification and geoengineering. Oh, man. Okay. This is so, uh, you know, I've been doing this for eight years. I cannot believe that we can't get our voice loud enough to at least match the official voice, the authoritative voice, the mainstream media voice, the IPCC's voice. Whether it's vaccines, gun control, climate change, these children are, well, clearly not experts, and they are being used by adults. Every adult should be outraged that this is taking place. They go on, but this isn't a message only to America. It's a message from the world to the world as students in dozens of countries on every continent will be striking together for the first time. Now, according to the most recent Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change Report on Global Temperature Rise, we have only 11 years to prevent even worse effects of climate change, and that is why we strike. Do you know how many videos I have posted in those videos? Evidence of the IPCC, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, their reports from 1 to 6, their 1 to 6, all of their assessments, and all of the scientists Nobel laureates, former members of the IPCC coming out saying uh, IPCC needs to be disbanded. It's not science. And it doesn't, it has not made an effect. It hasn't come to anything. I am, I am really, um, We strike to support the Green New Deal. Outrage 
has swept across the United States over the proposed legislation, some balk at the co cost of transitioning the country to renewable energy, while others recognize its far greater benefit to society as a whole. The Green New Deal is an investment in our future and the future of generations beyond us that will provide jobs, critical new infrastructure, and most importantly, the drastic reduction in greenhouse gas emissions essential to limit global warming. And that is why we strike. Really? That's why you kids are striking? You mean you've looked into the Green New Deal and you have analyzed that Green New Deal and you know that it's not going to cost that much. It's going to provide jobs, critical new infrastructure, and most importantly, the drastic reduction in greenhouse gas. You know it, right? You kids, adults, you're letting these kids do this when they don't know. They're just being used as pawns. It's disgusting. Current U.S. president is a rabid climate change denier himself. I guess I'm a rabid climate change denier myself. Having done a tremendous amount of research to learn that this global warming climate change, it's a lie. And the world's people are being manipulated. Under the umbrella of climate change, the United Nations is reshaping the world for its own purposes, for the purposes of the globalists, the crazy, psychopathic, elitist, quote-unquote, to make all of us slaves, to control every aspect of our life, to put us into these mega-regions, these smart cities, where we will be under surveillance 24-7. We will be made their slaves. Oh, right, but adults, you can't do any research on that. Instead, you let your children be used for the reshaping of the world in which they will have to suffer the consequences of a new world order living in their mega regions without any privacy, opportunity, all of what you had, you're leaving your kids nothing and letting them get manipulated by adults. We are also concerned that top Democrats demonstrate their own lack of urgency about the existential threat of climate change. California Senator Dianne Feinstein recent dismissal of a group of school children visiting her office to beg her support for the Green New Deal was very disturbing for us young people. <laughs> we strike because our world leaders haven't acknowledged, prioritized, or properly addressed the climate change or climate crisis. We strike because marginalized communities across our nation, especially communities of color and low-income communities, my God, you kids sure have done a tremendous amount of... How could you even study any other subjects? Oh, this sounds like it's coming right from the IPCC. Got it right. These children know nothing about this. Are already disproportionately impacted by climate change. <laughs> we strike because if the societal order is disrupted by our refusal to attend school, then influential adults will be forced to take note, face the urgency of the climate crisis, and enact change. With our future at stake, we call for radical legislative action now to combat climate change and its countless detrimental effects on the American people. I don't like being silenced. I don't like lies carrying the day. Okay.
Listen to just a few minutes of this. Yeah, uh, in Stockholm with Dr. Nils Axel Morner. He is the retired head of the Paleo Geophysics Department and Geodynamics Department at Stockholm University, and he was a sea level reviewer for the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change back in 2000. Uh, Dr. Morner, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Um, so tell us a little bit about this whole sea level issue. I, I just came from the COP24 in Poland and uh, over and over again we heard that our cities are going to be flooded. I'm from yeah. Miami, they say my city is going to be flooded. Uh, are we all doomed from sea level change to start with? Uh, absolutely not. I mean there is no big uh, rapid sea level rise going on today and there will not be. On the contrary, if anything happens, it's uh, sea will go down a little. But also, there is nothing which is called global sea level. It is different in different parts of, uh, of the world. We have been seeing here, or will be seeing here, evidence that the absolute sea level rise component of the last 125 uh, years in Stockholm, in the Kattegat, in the whole of the Baltic, in the Kattegat area, in the North Sea is 1.1 millimeter per year. Those who say that it's over faster, it just doesn't work. Those who use satellite altimetry, which is 3.2 millimeter per year, there is something rotten with, a, with that type of analysis because they have introduced correction factors. And those correction factors are, are again, not correct. They are their own personal wishes. Okay? So if you correct it back to the beginning of the first uh, ten years, then it's about 0.1 millimeter per year, not 3 millimeter per year. But They're lying. The IPCC is lying. Okay, I want you to listen to just a few more minutes. Um, this is so outrageous, guys. It's really, <laughs> this can't go on. You could talk to the Trump administration. Uh, what would you tell them to do about this UN climate process? Forget about it, <laughs> okay. because they are, it's nonsense, and you have very caref careful and cleverly understood that. Mm -hmm. So that, that's, yes. But one, oh, at the same time, one should do it with um, uh, honesty uh, and with sympathy for other people. One can even discuss it. It's very simple for us to discuss it because we really have the facts. They have the models. And facts are better than models. Uh, it, 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 it is something really different. They may, may, but that's the problem because they begin with model in order to test uh, the ionosphere. Uh, but then they become so taken by the models. So they, make a, they even discriminate by facts, right or wrong, because of a model. How could they do that? I mean, this is, this is uh, uh, so unscientific. And that is a terrible thing, this unscientific part of it. Because one day it will all, will all be revealed as Thompson. And then we lose our, our trust. That's worth it, yes. Because uh, scientists, science is the... That is so important. Yes, it is. Um, well, a few more, uh, just like another minute. This is a former member of the IPCC. Former member of the IPCC. A lot of strange things. And that was this autocratic. Uh, thing with it. And so lobbyists be, is so dangerous. And now when it has been able, because we have a no, new media world, it's a media world which can change the whole globe and affect it. Mm. Anyway, you have teenagers which goes out to the United Nations and give lectures and say, uh, as being um, climate specialists. What do they know? They are very nice open, but they should be out playing. Football or other, other things, not, not talking at the United Nations. <laughs> that, that is an insult to science. It's an insult to real, um, sp uh, to be uh, experts. But as the other side have increased all kinds of strange people uh, to be experts when they are not uh, experts, uh, the scientists say, what do scientists say? This is just a few guys which they have, uh, they have uh, um, asked to say the correct thing. 
And if you go to to uh, places where they make reportage of so that and that has happened, you can see that it's really they have been paid to say the things which are being said. And that, that all this is fright this is frightening that we are able to uh, fiddle with reality. And that is frightening. That, that makes me to, uh, speak. <laughs> because this is, the, the, this is the two things. Right must be right. The other thing that is frightening, we must um, work against what I... Uh, what, it's not only it's, it's frightening, because it's, it's wrong. And in that part, it, it's, I even see it as a little evil. Yes, it is. It's a lot evil. Because it's all based on lies. Finally, it's safe for the whistleblowers of corrupted climate science to speak out. The greatest scientific fraud of the century will be laid bare, along with its corrupt enablers, in government, academia, industry, the media. Whistleblowers at the U.S. government's official keeper of the global warming stats, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, claim their agency doctored temperature data to hide the fact that global temperatures plateaued almost 20 years ago. How is it? How is it that still it goes on and on? The lies continue. The use of children, the exploitation of children continues. These children believe that global warming is real when it is not. How can this continue? Because adults are not well. The adults, those paid to lie, those who are sitting on the IPCC, that it's not a science panel, it's a policy panel. And their directive is to submit policy to the United Nations. United Nations then uh, submits it to governments around the world. This is what you need to implement. This is what you need mainstream media to be reporting. And it's all lies. When you have a society and your adult members of that society either don't care, they lie themselves, they don't have a moral core, this is what you end up with. Evil carrying the day. 1,000 for Ollie, one channel, and it is, as far as I'm concerned, the number one channel that uh, has the videos, the scientists, the Nobel laureates, the, the physicists, the climatologists, the meteorologists, um, all speaking out, all speaking out, disputing that man is causing global warming, climate change. This fraud still continues decade after decade. Why? Because those who know it's a fraud, only a few are speaking out. We have a few activists, uh, the whistleblowers, mainstream media. Well, the liars have that muscle. But my God, all of these scientists, climatologists, uh, uh, meteorologists, uh, state climatologists like John Christie all speaking out against what the IPCC is saying, but the IPCC, the uh, known as the authoritative science body on climate change, it is not. It is not. But it carries the day. That is shocking to me. Shocking. Well, what's one of those whistleblowers who 
Dr. John Bates, recently retired principal scientist at NOAA, who described how his agency manipulated data to manufacture a non-existent increase in global temperatures. In a press release last week, U.S. House Science, Space, and Technology Committee Chairman Lamar Smith thanked Dr. John Bates for courageously stepping forward to tell the truth about NOAA's senior officials playing fast and loose with the data in order to meet a politically predetermined conclusion. Okay. Well, yeah, guys. Uh, I am rather disheartened. I've done this over and over again. I'm not going to even read the headlines. I've recently posted videos when the IPCC came out with their assessment in 2018, when our national, um, the equivalent of the IPCC, except it's our national uh, scientists, that panel came out. I posted videos with all of the scientists who came out and said, once again, the IPCC, it needs to be disbanded. Their science is not science. They're here. Another climate alarmist admits real motive behind warming scare. This is coming from someone who sat on the IPCC. We have been told now for almost three decades that man has to change his ways or his fossil fuel emissions will scorch earth with catastrophic warming. The narrative is a ruse. If they were honest, the climate alarmists would admit that they are not working feverishly to hold down global temperatures. They would acknowledge that they are instead consumed with the goal of holding down capitalism and establishing a global welfare state. That is how the United Nations is going to cure poverty, according to their Agenda 2030, sustainable goals. They will cure it by bringing everyone down to the same level. One has to be, one has to free oneself from the illusion that international climate policy is environmental policy. This has almost nothing to do with the environmental policy. Problems such as deforestation or the ozone hole. Edenhofer co-chaired the UN Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change through the years 2008 and 2015. It's been going on for so long, and I am, um, <laughs> yeah, well, imagine that polar bear is me. Yeah. It's so sad. It's so incredibly sad. What is really sad? is seeing how many people just don't give a shit. How many parents will let their children be used? Used. How many parents will allow their children to be traumatized? We only have 11 years left. My God. Yeah, well, it will go on and on until there, our voice is louder. And that doesn't seem to be possible. Not with you know, everybody here in the quote unquote awake community fighting over <laughs> incidentals, nothing significant. Christians, so many of them, you are, I'm sorry, you are the largest percentage of the population still. 
But so many of you just sit back and do nothing. And we have all of the good people sitting around doing nothing. And that's why this persists. 97% of scientists around the world agree man is causing climate change. Utter lie. That consensus came from 52 scientists who sat on the IPCC. There has been so, so much sites devoted, um, scientists devoted to getting the word out, and yet the lie carries the day. Here, Global Warming Petition Project, American scientists have signed this petition. How many? 31,487, but there's more now. This was back 2012. This is when I was doing videos in Great Barrington, Kafka Winston World, posting to counter Amy Goodman's lies. Amy Goodman, Democracy Now!, the quintessential disinformation queen. Oh, she tells so much truth, and she is a promoter of the United Nations climate change, global warming hysteria. She's right on it. Does she ever interview scientists, all of the huge numbers of scientists who dispute this man-made global warming hysteria? Uh-uh, no. She is Alexander Ocasio-Cortez. The two are the same. The United Nations agents to bring in Agenda 21. More than 1,000 international scientists dissent over man-made global warming claims. It's unbelievable. And, you know, this was started by Frederick Seitz, who is now gone, um, passed away, past president, National Academy of Sciences. Well, I'm going to read some quotes. Or should I save that for another video? Yeah, why not? It's 27 minutes already. I guess this is brought about by global warming climate change, right? This guy in Kentucky. You see this little doohickey here that literally flew out of this black cloud that hung in the in the sky, in the air, just it remained stationary. It wasn't moving, but this flew out of it and made its way into this black cloud that was just hanging in the air, stationary. This thing, nanotechnology at work. Black carbon dust for their weather modification perhaps. Yes, guys, uh, every, every one of us should be really upset. Every one of us who have been actively involved in one way or the other to get the truth out, we should all be outraged. Putting in so much effort and the lies still carry the day. And yeah, I was... <laughs> I was trying to post videos when Amy Goodman would on Democracy Now! during 2011 when we were having tornadoes take out towns, kill hundreds of people, and she was claiming it was climate change. And of course, Bill McGibbon, always on Democracy Now! Bill McGibbon, that guy who <laughs> well, I'll let you listen to it. Here he is, Mr. Lying Piece of Shit. Sorry for cursing. Bill McGibbon, 350.org. And the audio is not so great. This was a Skyped interview 
uh, years and years ago, and some uh, the woman who was interviewing him pressed him on where do you get your funding from, Bill? Because he claims, just like Amy Goodman claims, we get our funding from the viewers. Bill McGibbon says, I get my funding from ordinary people who want to save the planet. Really? Amy Goodman, George Soros, CIA. But the viewers, oh, well, Amy Goodman, she's got integrity stamped on her forehead. You can never question the veracity of Amy Goodman. No. And because people don't, they don't get that she lies, that she is absolutely an agent working to get everybody to believe climate change, global warming, so that we now are facing this Green New Deal, radical changes coming to everybody. That's her purpose. Bill McGibbon, these people are so, I don't even know words, because they're so grossly immoral. They make me sick. They are disgusting, despicable liars. So, listen to who funds 350.org. No, it's not the people. We're working very hard to get uh, towards zero emissions. That's the goal. Good. That's great. That's great to hear. And how is 350.org funded? Uh, well, not very well. <laughs> <laughs> who are your funders? Uh, to the degree that we have any money at all, it's come from a few foundations in which, which Europe ones? and in the U.S. Uh, let's see. The uh, I'm trying to think who the biggest uh, funders are. He can't remember the biggest funders. He can't remember his biggest funders. This is, this, I mean, if anybody is uh, in tune with uh, body language, facial expressions, if somebody has that kind of awareness, you will see readily that this guy knows exactly who his funders are, but he's, he's now trying to figure out a way not to reveal who his funders are. He didn't want to say that it was Rockefeller. These lying scumbags. And they're all too happy to see the children being used, exploited for their own end. This guy, Bill McGibbon, has made a fortune being a lying scumbag. Wow. Now, that sure is a nice footprint, isn't it? I'll link below to everything, but my God, guys, you know, <laughs> whether it's vaccines, gun control, climate change, these people have no morals, no conscience. They don't care. They'll use whatever they can, even children, to achieve their goals. And the achievement of those goals is going to leave these kids with a future that, well, it's hard to even imagine, but 
the, few, the, the, the past, you know, that we had, the opportunities, the freedom, all of it. It is an abject disgrace that adults sit around doing nothing because they are leaving a world that we never had to experience. And that world, well, you can imagine, um, let's say, communism on mega steroids with no opportunity, 24-7 surveillance, no privacy, all links are below.